Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Q, you know who and I am. Back with another video, man. Thank y'all for tuning in and coming and kick it with your boy today. So today is gonna be kind of a chatty video, guys. I apologize, no accident like that. But I'm actually about to sum up the three tunes and I'm basically about to today decide, or tell y'all my opinion on which ones, sorry, let me get y'all up here, <laughs> which one's the best daily driver. Currently in Dallas, it's about 50, 60, not too bad. Nice day today, it's supposed to be rain tomorrow. I watch red and every two days it rains. So I'm just kind of pissed. Y'all can see here. There she is sitting. Uh, looking at me. Hope you don't step on no dog poop. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the three tunes. PRX is just going to be the PRX tune. 93 toe, of course, 93 toe performance. And then I'm just say 87, which is the 87 performance economy tune. So that's how I'm going to classify them. So what I did, I broke it down into um, four categories as to how I want to rate each tune. And so the categories are acceleration, basically passing power speed overall speed how i feel how fast does it feel drivability and comfort which is important and last but not least mpg so those are four categories and basically i'm gonna rank them from three to one three being the best one being the least whichever one has a total highest score at the end that's going to be the one that i feel again it's all my opinion is the <clears throat> is the best daily driver tune and sorry if a lot of cars coming back i am in a very public area right now let's start with mpg so with mpg <clears throat> if you haven't watched all those series of videos go back there in a playlist i'll put them down here in the description for you the 87 and 93 toe average about the same about 13.5 13.6 the uh, prx average about 13.1 so how i ranked them i gave the uh 93 toe the best score with a three i gave the 87 a two and then the prx a one because it had the least uh mpg average the reason i gave the 93 a three uh, and uh uh the 87 a two because with the 93 which i'm going to get to the performance was better and you got the same gas mileage also guys don't forget to go subscribe to me and my wife's channel that's brie and q i put that right there for y'all brie and q come check it out that's more of a couples life daily vlog type stuff man so the other side of q that y'all don't get to see so be sure y'all go subscribe to that one so next we go talk about drivability and comfort which one is the most comfortable and the most drivable easiest to drive because you know with power with any vehicle just because the car has a lot of power doesn't mean it's easy to drive usually with a lot of power it's harder to drive and you really have to know what you're doing when you get i'm not talking about really red for example but like other cars like you know you get those cars 800 900 wheel horsepower and all that stuff um you know you have to know how to drive those things you can't just jump in and go the easiest one to drive for sure was probably gonna be i'm gonna give it again to the 93 uh 93 toe and number two would be the 87 and number one would be the 93 prx and i'll talk about it briefly the uh, 93 prx is of course the hardest to drive because the throttle is very very sensitive like very sensitive um you definitely have to watch how much throttle input it doesn't take much input at all to get the truck going which can be kind of annoying in stop and go traffic especially and I'm, I'm in the city so this is what i'm referring to me driving the day to day being in the city it's just kind of hard to drive it's just a little more painful to, to drive having to you know watch your throttle response you don't want to run into the back of somebody the 87 you would think the 87 would be easiest to drive right and again, only reason I gave the 93 tow a, a higher advantage here because the 93 tow was more powerful and the throttle response was like perfect. Like you didn't have to smash it, but you didn't have to get all the way on it. With the 87, you had to get all the way on it to kind of get some feedback to get the truck to actually respond to what you're trying to do. So that's why I ranked them that way. All right, guys, so next we go talk about uh, acceleration and passing power, which is probably the most important category in the whole video because of just usually that's where you're going to be your day to day you're going to be in that accelerating the power or passing power mode this one you probably guessed i had to give this one to the number the, the fastest for sure was the 93 prx the 93 toe is very close 93 prx well it's just fast it's it's fast and it's fast everywhere it just wants to go take off again the power delivery is different i'll get in that in my next one but with the 93 prx it's just the power is always there and it doesn't take much to get that power to come out now the 93 i already gave that a two it was second behind the prx because uh it's fast it's just it's just not as fast as the prx and they designed it that way for a reason well, hopefully y'all can see me let me wipe my camera what's this on my camera hold on okay maybe that's just how it is but anyway the 93 prx was supposed to be their crazy wild child tune and that's what it is it is fast fast and then of course the 87 performed e economy 
that one man is very lacking in overall i mean speed power it's a good tune for like i said you want a slight performance for an 87 gas you get a little bit of performance yeah you want to go with that one but it takes the most feedback to get uh any response you have to be fully in it and even when you get in it it's quick but it's it just doesn't compare to the other two all right guys so that's gonna bring me to my last category which is overall speed the passing acceleration category is a little more important than this one because you're not really going to be flat out full throttle wide open throttle a lot of times unless you're at the track which <laughs> y'all look at red so you ain't gonna be burning no bending no corners at the track you know winner of the speed category is the 93 prx man it, it won the speed category uh because it's the fastest tune i, I do all think the top end speed is the same it's just how they get to the top end speed that's different right so i think the 93 prx probably get there a little faster because it accelerates in mid ranges just way faster than the other two and then you got the 93 pr uh the 93 toe was second because it's quick i think that i do i really do think the mid range of the 93 toe is more responsive than the 93 prx but the 93 prx just feels faster man i can't explain it's just the feel and this this again this is my opinion i don't really um it's just based off feel and how i when i draw the tunes that's why i'm ranking basing this off and then of course you got the 87 with one because it's it's the 87 is the slowest tune come below tell me what you think tallying all those scores which one you think won out of overall the four categories so you'll be surprised so uh best daily driver tune based on overall ranking the 87 performance came in last place with a total of six points, right? Six points. Uh, again, that's a good, a, it's a good daily driver tune um, because you can run 87 pump gas. So you save some money at the tank and you get a little bit of performance, but it's not the best daily driver tune. If you follow what I'm saying, but it is a good daily driver tune. And now for your runner up with your second place. So if I say this, you already know who first place is. So what y'all think? Who is the runner-up? The runner-up tune. <laughs> the runner-up tune is the 93 PRX with a total of eight points. Boom. Shocking, right? You probably like, you just probably knew that the 93 PRX is going to be the favorite tune today, best daily driver. But no, it's not. And it, it comes down to... It, it lost in the, the two categories that uh, mainly matter with daily, daily driving, which was comfort, drivability, and MPG. You know, you daily driving, you're driving far, you want good MPG, and you want some that's manageable power. That's the thing, you, there is a such thing as manageable power, guys. You can have a fast car, but is it manageable, which means it's comfortable to drive every day, day to day. And the 93 PRX tune is not that compared to the other tune, which you probably know, that came in first. It's just, it just, doesn't win that category so with that it came in second place which leads us to our overall big three winner the best daily driver mpt tune in my opinion kicking it with q's opinion is the 93 toe performance tune uh it was, it's, like i said it's not as fast as the 93 prx for sure but overall when you look at mpg drivability and comfort it beat out the 93 prx and it's slightly slower it's not a lot of slower but it's a slightly slower so um that's why i won it, it basically averaged fair it was at midway through all those categories it was married in the middle so overall it won with a total of what was the point i think 10 points so it'd be 93 px by two points is where it came down to also i didn't mention this the shifts shift points um when I have to rank them, the 93 PRX shifts the hardest, which another category as to why it's not good comfort and daily driver, best daily driver. The 93 PRX has them shifts pretty firm on the wide on the throttle, but on the day to day, it's very smooth, not crazy. And then 87 is the least intrusive with the shift. So I forgot that I ain't really forget to clue that. That's just part of went into the drivability and comfort of the tunes. So if I had to like put my Q spin on it, what I would say is I would have to say that so the 93 prx is like the side chick right <laughs> she is the side chick the wild child she gonna make you have you go wherever you go you have a good time with her you can do whatever you want with her and she's down for the cause that's the wild child she the one that you can't bring home a mom because she wild she she crazy little edgy you know 93 prx 93 toe is the one you marry she's balanced she's good she makes you do right makes you behave but 
you can still have some fun with her, you know, you can bring her home, you can put your mama in it and she can ride with you and not be all crazy. She'll be good with your, your luggage and all that stuff. She's good with the gas, so she ain't go burn your stuff. She ain't go spend your credit card and run the bills up. So that's the 93 toe. And then last you got the 87 performance. So that's probably, I would say like the crush, you know, like the, the high school crush that you had a crush on. Nothing really was gonna happen. She thought she was cute, you thought she was cute. You know, you smile from a distance, hey girl, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> so that was 87, it's the crush. Thought she was cute, you know, yeah, I entertained that, you cute. So yeah, that's how I ran. But me, I personally, even though with that ranking, guys, I still ain't running the 93 PRX tune. And that's just a personal preference thing. I like to go fast, I like the speed, I like to have speed when I need it, and I, I'm running the 93. So I'm actually running the revised version of the 93 that MPT sent me. So I'm gonna do a video on that, not after this one, it's gonna probably be down the road. I'm kinda tired of doing these videos, but um, I'm running the 93, and I probably would've continued to run the 93. I like to race, <laughs> you know, random people. I raced and lifted the truck, I did not get the video on the interstate one day. He pulled up and won the race, and. I gave him, you know, I gave him Gapple Bees with the 93, so I will probably always run the 93, uh, but that's just me. I, I I like the power, I like the speed, the ships don't bug me um, as much as you may think, but if you're older or you have issues or you don't like that, you might like the 93 toe, or some people I know, somebody come below, they like the 87, so it's all personal preference at this point, but I personally run the 93, I think that uh, I run the 93 PRX, I think the 93 toe performance. For me, was the best daily driver, the best comfortable in speed. And 87 is if I'm trying to save some cash and save some gas and cash, I would probably run 87. But anyway, man, that's all I got. Thank y'all for watching. Hope the video wasn't too long. Wouldn't try to keep it short. Wasn't that much action, just a lot of talking. But hopefully, y'all find this information useful. If you go to MPT and order, tell them Q sent you. I ain't got no sponsor with them, but that'd be cool if they did sponsor me.